Hi friends, good evening. Again, welcome back to my channel Mukambika Nursing. Here in this video, we can discuss questions for exam preparation. Here we can see questions for SIC exam preparation, also RRB exam, DSSB exam, DME exam and also insurance medical service exam, JPHN exam, also CHO exam preparation. Today's question we can see the first question flag hair sign is a characteristic feature seen in which disease options option a koshoker option b marasmus option c pellagra option d beriberi question in which disease condition we can see flag hair sign flag hair sign is one of the clinical features of koshoker option a is the correct answer in koshoker Due to hypopigmentation of the hair, the hair will become silky and easily fragile. So, we can easily pull out the hair. Okay. The hypopigmentation of the hair gives the appearance of flag-like hair. Here, option A is the correct answer. The next question. A child has been diagnosed with chickenpox. What isolation precautions will the public health nurse advise to his mother? Options. Option A. Isolate him 5 to 7 days after the onset of rash. Option B. Isolate him 4 days after the onset of rash. Option C. Isolate 1 to 2 days prior the onset of rash. Option D. Isolate him till 21 days. A child has been diagnosed with chickenpox. As a public health nurse, what instruction she can give to his mother? Okay, this is the question. So, chicken box is caused by varicella zoster. It is a highly infectious disease. The isolation record for the child is 6 days. Mostly 5 to 7 days after the onset of rash. Here option A, isolate him. 5 to 7 days after the onset of rash. The next question. A nurse evaluating developmental level of a 2 year old child. Which of the following does the nurse expect to observe in this child? Options. Option A. Use a fork to eat. Option B. Use a cup to drink. Option C. Pour own milk into a cup. Option D. Use a knife for cutting food. Here our question is, a nurse is evaluating the developmental level of 2 year old child. Among this option, which one does the child can do? Okay, that is the question. So, correct answer is option B, use a cup to drink. The developmental level of a 2 year old child is use a cup to drink. Option B is the correct answer. By the age of 2 years, the child can use cup and spoon correctly. But some spilling during the time of drinking time, some spilling will occur. By the age of 3 to 4 years, the child can begin to use fork. The child can able to use fork by 3 to 4 years. And by the end of the preschool period, preschool period means 3 to 5 years. By the end of 5 years, the child can able to pour milk into a cup. Okay, here option C. Child can able to pour milk into a cup by the end of 5 years or by the end of preschool age. Okay, and also by preschool period, by the end of preschool, child can able to begin to use knife for cutting. Okay, so both occurs in the end of preschool period, child can able to pour milk into a cup and able to begin to use knife for cutting. Here our option, the developmental level of a 2 year old child is can use a cup to drink. Option B. The next question, after tonsillectomy, a child begins to omit bright red blood. The initial nursing action is to options. Option A. Notify the physician. Option B. Maintain NBO status. Option C. Turn the child to the side. Option D. Administer prescribed antibiotic. Here question is after tonsillectomy. Tonsillectomy means removal of the tonsils. Okay. Here after tonsillectomy, the child start to omit bright blood. 
what the immediate or what the initial first nursing action in this case that is the question so the correct answer will come turn the child to one side or turn the child to the side option c is the correct answer after tonsillectomy if bleeding occurs the nurse immediately turn the child to one side okay it is mainly to prevent aspiration and then she should notify it to the physician the next action will come maintain nbo status after that administer antibiotics the first initial nursing action is turn the child to the side the next question bell's palsy is due to the injury of which cranial nerve options option a trigeminal nerve option b facial nerve option c trochlear nerve option d hypoglossal nerve bell's palsy is due to the injury of facial nerve option b is the correct answer bell's palsy or facial paralysis occurs due to the injury of seventh cranial nerve seventh cranial nerve is facial nerve and the next question which should be the nurse first intervention with the client diagnosed with bell's palsy options option a explain that this disorder will resolve within a month option b tell the client to apply heat to the involved side of the face option c tell the client to protect the affected eye from injury option d all of this question is patient diagnosed with bell's palsy so the nurse what is the first planning or what is the first intervention does the nurse can take for this patient or what advice does the nurse can give to this patient okay that is the question and the correct answer will come option c tell the client to protect the affected eye from injury okay complications of bell's palsy include corneal drying keratitis and ulceration so the affected eye is protected by using artificial tears or ointments that will be prescribed by the doctor here the nurse should explain the client to protect the affected eye from injury okay option c is the correct answer and the next question a child who is affected with bell's palsy moistening of the affected eye has to be done to prevent option a conjunctivitis option b keratitis option c blindness option d all of this complications of bell's palsy include corneal drying keratitis and ulceration so here keratitis is there so that is the correct answer option b so moistening of the affected eye has to be done to prevent keratitis and the next question a client who is in end stage liver disease should avoid which of these food items options option a fruits option b vegetables option d beef option d rice question a client with end stage liver disease should avoid which food item that is the question so correct answer is option c beef protein rich food should be avoided to a patient with end stage liver disease the next question the umbilical cord stem gets dried and shed off by options option a 2 to 4 days option b 5 to 15 days option c 10 to 18 days option d 15 to 21 days and the correct answer is option b 5 to 15 days the umbilical cord stem get dried and shed off within 5 to 15 days till then we should keep the umbilical cord dry to prevent infection next question the optimum level of humidity to be maintained in the incubator is options option a 10 to 30 percentage option b 30 to 60 percentage option c 60 to 80 percentage and option d 80 to 100 percentage the humidity in the incubator optimum level of humidity in incubator is 30 to 60 percentage option b is the correct answer the optimum level of humidity to be maintained in the incubator is 30 to 60 percentage so here we discuss the previous year and important questions surely this will questions will guide you for your exams